Alles klar. Welcome to video 012. Two more problems dealing with modular arithmetic uh, from a 1983 map team contest. First problem. Find the value of x in the set uh, 0 through 10 such that 3x minus 5 is congruent to 7x plus 4 in mod 11. All right, so let's just get the variables on the same side. So we'll go minus 7x, minus 7x, and I'll add the constants to their side, plus 5, plus 5. To make a long story short, I'm going to get minus 4x is congruent to 9 mod 11. Um, I don't like negatives, so let's multiply each side by negative 1. 4x is congruent to negative 9 mod 11. Um, I don't like negatives here either, so let's uh, add a cycle of 11. 4x is congruent to 2 mod 11. Um, I can do normal division because I've got a factor of 2 here and no factors of 2 in the mod. So divide by 2, 2x is congruent to 1 mod 11. Um, and then what I can do is just add a cycle of 11. 2x is congruent to 12 mod 11. Um, once again, I can do normal division. I've got a factor of 2 here, no factor of 2 here. x is congruent to 6 mod 11. So 6 is in that set. And 6 is the answer um, to that question. All right. For the second part, I'm just going to do it up here to have more room. So I'll erase this. Okay, part B. Find the value of x in the set 0 through 23 such that 24,737 squared is congruent to x mod 24. All right, we're going to simplify this right away in mod 24. Just divide by 24, find the remainder, work with that. So 24,737 divided by 24, 1, 24, 0, bring down the 7, 0, 0, bring down the 3, uh, what do we have there, 3, 3, uh, 72, 1, bring down the 7, 0, remainder 17. All right, so this, is just congruent to 17 in mod 24. So let's rewrite that problem. I'll erase this. So now I've got 17 squared is congruent to x mod 24. Okay, uh, 17 squared I believe is 289. And now it's simply one more division, get the remainder, and we're done. All right, so I'll just do that over here. 289 divided by 24, 1, 24, 4, 9, 2, 48, 1, remainder 1. So again, that remainder um, is that right there. So the answer to that problem is simply one. And again, that's the answer for part B. And there you have it. Um, one more thing, the fifth problem was a linear Diophantine equation in modular arithmetic. It had 12 solutions. It's beyond the scope of what I want to do, so I'm just going to stop it here. So there you have it, two more problems dealing with modular arithmetic.